Welcome back, guys. We're back for another SBT match in the A League. We have uh, Hunter here versus Simi Chris. Um, uh, so we have the Seattle Salamences versus uh, the Blue Collar Blossoms. I'm here with Eagle Gene. Hey. And uh, yeah, we can just talk about their matchup they have real here. Uh, it doesn't look like Simi brought his Mega. Uh, what's his Mega again? Mega Lop. So he didn't bring Lop, I guess, because he was afraid of Lottie. Um, probably makes sense. Yeah, I guess so. But then again, you still have speed to return. He but, does have I don't speed. Know, maybe he had some other reason. Uh, yeah. That's why he didn't bring it. Maybe I don't know why he wouldn't bring Mega Lottie. It. Uh, it's a nice I mean, you get outsped by plus one Scully, I guess. Uh, yeah, but Scully, this Scully gets superpower, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah. So he might yeah. have something even, like that, but. I mean, even poison jab. Poison jab. Uh, yeah, even Poison Maybe Jab. Maybe there's an Oko, but like it's still he can, Yeah, he can set up Source Dance damage. and stuff. Yeah. Um, I yeah, think and then you... Scully looks offensive this match, doesn't he? Because, um, like, unless that's a Spec Sylveon, um, which it could be. I don't think it would, though, because he has a Victini and a Nihiligo. Uh, did we get someone else oh. joining the call here? No, it's just me. I just created oh, okay. for I don't right. know why, but okay. No worries, no worries. Um, yeah, I was just saying, uh, Scolipede looks offensive this match. Um, unless, unless that's a Spec Sylveon or something, but. Um, um. Well, I mean, yeah. You mean like not offensive? He would be like Toxic Spikes or something? Yeah, I, I don't think he would be Toxic Spikes. I mean, he he yeah, still but could like, be. Yeah, he... but. Yeah, but he kind of has to be offensive. I mean, there's not much. Yeah, I think he has to be offensive can do. with like earthquake or something. Um, yeah, probably a with, for the maybe, bikini and you think he has Aquatail? He's probably Z move. He might have Aquatail for maybe like Z Aquatail for Gligar or something. Well, like, like that. Aquatail hits Nihiligo, Gligar, and Even, Victini, and Cl and Clay Yeah, and Victini as well. So yeah, Z, Z Aquatail could be decent. Yeah, I think he might have Aquatail for sure. Um, I don't know if I think um. I think Hunter's strategy is to break down that melodic before he uh, sets up his skull feet. Yeah, for sure. Um, but if he does, I mean, if he if he breaks the melodic, I think skull feet can actually put in some work. Yep. Um, Victini could be scarf. Um. Just trying to see, cause like it's tough though, cause then if if he the scully protects, then you're still slower than yeah, the scully. Yeah, you're still slower. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it outspeeds the uh, the laddie at least, but I think Hunter's fastest mon is actually scolipede, anyways. So, um, he might yeah. he might not need to scarf the victini. I'm not sure what that victini actually is. Well, it outspeeds the laddie, but that's that, I mean, that's true. I don't know. I mean, it's not going to be hitting too hard unless it's bandage or something, but. I mean, yeah, Victini doesn't have the greatest matchups. It doesn't look like it, but it's if, like, it's, bro, if it's banded, or, like... If it's banded, yeah, there's no, just no switch on um, that, I think, but, like... I'm trying to see, you think he's Trick or something? Because... Could be Trick, that could be interesting, to trick the Rotom, maybe? Or the, I was thinking the Porygon, maybe, but... Or the Porygon, but, like, but then you get the, yeah. Yeah. Um, that could be interesting, I don't know. Victini could be anything, he could be a Z-Move, even, but... I mean, Victini could be a lot of things. So. Yeah, Victini could can do a lot. I don't, you know, Melodic just looks defensive. Gligar looks defensive, and everything else is probably offensive. Clayar could, could have rocks, uh, uh, but like, I think maybe Simi win. Uh, like in the late game, Simi might want to win with that Nihilego. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Nihilego has a decent matchup. Well. Nihilego gets Dazzle and Gleam, right? Yep. Okay, so. Has a tough time breaking through the uh, the P two, but it kind of it can maybe run toxic if it's a it choice. Yeah, yeah, he has to. So Simi's main priority is probably break down that P two. Um, I guess even the Sylveon, but like, so I don't know what type of Sylveon that is. That that could just be defensive, uh, but I don't think it would be just because um, it doesn't take hits from Bandit. Uh, Victini, anyways, and 
Yeah, like even yeah. If, the only thing I could see is the zero. It's decent for the zero. Yeah. But, but, like. Uh, yeah, I agree. Okay, so we have their leads now. We have uh, Megalotti in with um, Glyer. Now Megalotti could like fact that he led with this. I, I was gonna say yeah. Ice Beam for sure, <laughs> but I was I was about to let, I was gonna let you finish, but I was yeah. like yeah. No, I was I was, I was gonna, gonna say the Ice Beam, but like I I yeah. wanted to kind of I didn't know that they were gonna pick their move so quickly. But I guess Hunter really knows that like if he beats down this Glyer, then Scolipede has a better time. You know. Yep. Um, yeah. So the toxic is really nice. Yeah, though. the fact that we saw ice beam means that he might have more coverage, and I'm not sure if he has room for refresh. So we saw a Draco there. Um, I don't know that that could just be no special attack Lottie, but that could also be a, like very special defense melodic. I'm not sure. I think that's what it. Is. I think it's really defensive. It would deflame more. We can take uh, could take hits from both yeah, sides. That's true. Obviously, mm -hmm. the marvel scale. So, so we um, we could see a recovery here then. Yeah, for sure. And um, Sylveon comes in. Um, I mean, Simi put put himself in a good spot there because obviously his Gregor got some damage. Uh, got some. I would have. I actually would have liked got some damage, but I would have liked uh, if Simi went for rocks there. But I, I guess a toxic on yeah. body is probably better. Um, yeah, because then you can recover stall with the uh, the melodic. If yeah, have, that, uh, doesn't have refresh. That's true. That's true. Yeah. If he did have refresh, then it could have been different. But I don't think with him having yeah. ice beam, it, I don't know if he has room for it. And I don't think either. And then is uh, he only has his uh, burn activate from Malo, mm -hmm. so I think Simi is you know pretty good start for him. I think. I think that Lottie is just a wall breaker set. It it looks like it just has yeah. coverage. Yeah. Okay, so Scully actually wants to come in. I I don't know uh, if that's a good idea yet, but just because Melodic is still very healthy could set up a swords dance um and simi could get scared out because of an earthquake yeah or protect he called the protect yeah me. because we don't know if this nehali goes scarf yet and obviously a power gem is going to do a lot yeah he could also be think... like focus sash and deborah maybe yeah but then so that's the thing if he switches out uh and hunter calls out and says something that's d right on his face so it's uh scary thing yeah i think simi has to stay in here um he could like he could also be sash himself but he didn't lead with it and i think he's very offensive um could be sash Coley Coley is maybe charty who knows he, he could be <laughs> like shaka you mean um I've... Well, I'll try to take the power gem from. Uh, oh, you, oh, scolipede. The, you mean? The, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. The scolipede. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's the protect, oh, yeah, the protect. and there's the plus one. I I don't think uh, Hunter wants to stay in here. I I don't know why he didn't set up a swords dance, but I guess he was just afraid yeah. of the power gem. So. Yeah. All right. So now we have these two walls in front of us. So defensive Sylveon confirmed. Sure. I think with yeah. the leftovers. So. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Hunter wants to break walls with that Lottie and then win with Skullpeed in the late game. Scrafty could be set up as well. Could be Dragon Dancer. Could be a backup. Uh, could be a backup sweeper. Could be a backup answer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. If that's the case. But, uh, I doubt it does that much work, though. But Well, the thing is, is that Simi didn't bring his fairy type. Um, and uh, I don't think Nihilego is Scarf. But then again, he he still could be Scarf. Uh, all right, not, not bad, the heal bell there. Getting rid of that, was, yeah. that toxic. That was great. That was great for the Lottie, obviously. Okay, so Lottie comes back in, and he knows he can take him out with an Ice Beam now. Yeah. So, Simi either stays in, or Hunter drops a Draco right here. I mean, it's pretty free. Yeah. The thing is that if he uh, does Draco, uh, Melodic still takes only 40% from that, right? So. Yeah, but I guess... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you force him to recover, at least, and then you can have a free switch. That's true, something. yeah. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I get your point, yeah. yeah. He could still be, like, Calm Mind or something. Yeah, he could. He could. Because if I'm Hunter, I don't think um, he has Recover on this Lottie. I mean, he could. It's just that he, he probably has, like, he thinks that Wish is enough on Sylveon, so. Yeah, well, hmm, I wonder. This... He brought Draco Ice Beam. His only fairy type on the only fairy type on Simi's team is the uh, Red Bomb Beam. 
Rombi. So maybe a, you can a add, Psyshock. You, you can add that with the Ice Beam. It's not a, really an issue, though. Yeah, like even a... But then the red... Even a Psychic The Red is still is... Yeah. Is, is an issue for that Lottie, mm -hmm. so... I don't know. I mean... Thunderbolt does... Wait. Okay, so he does actually just uh, decide to predict the Melodic coming in. Um... Which was a good play. This melodic looks very specially mm -hmm. defensive, though. I I think it's gonna be able to take this hit unless it. <laughs> yeah, it probably just stay in and recover. Yeah. He could stay in and recover. He could also uh, fire off the Z move if he has it. But I think Scolipede is Z move. The fact that he went like maybe, maybe this Rotom is also a trick. I don't know. Okay, so he's just kind of forcing uh, Simi to get into a good position. And so it, it's intimidate. So I don't think it's. Uh, well, I mean, it could still be Dragon Dance, but usually could, you see the yeah. uh, the shed skin thing. Shed skin is probably uh, I think that is probably better for it. But yeah, to take some willows mm -hmm. and skull burns and whatnot. So what is this Claydol going? Is this Claydol going to set up rocks? Or oh, he actually does have the dazzling. I didn't know that Claydol get dazzling game to be honest. <laughs> nice prep. Yeah, uh, that did a lot of damage. Is is that normal damage? I think so. I mean, Skullipede's pretty frail. I guess, but that's resisted. It's not stab. But, yeah. Uh, if this ends up being like Might Specs so. or something, that's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> specs clay though. Hey, I I wouldn't like that's Simi brought uh, banded Whimsicott last season, so I wouldn't even uh, even doubt it. He also brought uh, Specs Clang. I think I think I remember. Megahorn. Um, I mean. Anything is possible at this point. Yeah. Oh, is it life orb? So we saw life yeah, orb. So, so it's he's not Z move. Yeah. I don't know what, who is Z move user. It's probably Clay, uh, Scrappy then. The, the Z move user. Either that or Rotom is the Z move user. It could just be like Z Thunder or something. Could be Rotom. Yeah. Because Scrappy might be leftovers if he's Intimidate. Um, probably a knockoff coming here. Yeah, probably a knockoff. I think so. Both of these two right now are kind of just trying to get into a good position. Um, you know, their pieces are kind of uh, going back and forth because obviously, when one goes on the offense, the other is immediately checked by their defense. So, uh, yeah. there's a crit. Uh, I think maybe a drain punch. I mean, I don't think it takes it out though. I still think he can recover because. What other crit within the Marvel scale? Yeah. I think. Uh, I think a high jump kick might take him out, but I don't know if Hunter wants to run that. Potentially. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. But other than that, I think he just recovers it. Yeah. Well, yeah, he outspeeds. If you could, if you could, if you can take it out with the high jump kick, that would be huge. But... We could see a uh, dragon dance if if he wants to go for that. Yeah. Yeah, so far just a back and forth match. Um, Simi being very up. So there is a high jump kick. I knew it. Uh, high jump. Uh, Good call there. But yeah, the recovery went uh, went first. So. Yeah, obviously melodic is a lot faster. But um, yeah, you would have to run like max speed. I think to outspeed mm -hmm. non speed best of melodic. Yeah, maybe not that. Maybe not that much, but like. Well, to be fair, it's hard for Simi to switch into this, uh, but like. Um, he can also just recover uh, out these high jump kicks and hope for a miss, right? So yeah, yeah. it'll come at some point. Mm -hmm. But it's forcing he gets a crit first. But... It's forcing Simi into a defensive role, so Hunter can make an aggressive play right here if he wants to. Yeah, I guess you can stall out <laughs> my logic out of uh, recovers, but mm -hmm. yeah, they both have the same <laughs> amount. Well, you know, Simi has one less recover, but. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it oh, is. that's unfortunate. You could see if he's leftovers. Yeah, he is. I really think Hunter actually should have um, made an aggressive switch into something like Rotom instead of uh, going for the high jump kick, though. Yeah. Okay. So this Sylveon obviously has that wish, and he might be going for it here. There it is. So he either wants to heal up Skullpeed or he wants to heal up uh, Scrafty. 
Um, Probably with Scrafty. Scrafty is very nice because it's it's bulky enough to take on this uh, Gligar. I think Simi should set up his rocks right now. No, for sure. Because then that Scolipede's going to be at uh, um, at uh, thirty percent on the entry. So, mm -hmm. well, I mean, like it's at fifty-five right now, so it's going to be thirty yeah. uh, after rocks. Mm -hmm. Well. Just, just for the sake of pressuring Hunter into not continuously uh, swap out and whatnot, because um, right now they're freely able to switch and not take any kind of, you know, risks. So um, setting up rocks might be better than just toxicing everything, in my opinion. Yeah. There it is. That, that was a great play. Yeah. Because then you force him to at least remove his eyes. And... Mm -hmm. Because now Hunter is. Uh, either force to stay in, be more offensive, or try to get into a defensive role and bring in that Rotom to defog. Uh, Lottie yeah. could have defog as well, but I kind of doubt it. Which means that if that Rotom is uh, defog, though, I mean, he doesn't have much offense on that team. I guess there's the Lottie, the Scully, and the mm -hmm. Scrafty, but... Well, Rotom could also have Pain Split. Um, you know what's interesting is that if uh, Rotom tries to Pain Split against the Zera Aura, um, it actually heals Zera Aura because Pain Split is a normal type move, and uh, and if if Zera Aura uses Plasma Fist beforehand, um, yeah, 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 has to use Plasma Fist beforehand. Yeah, that was interesting when uh, um, what's it called? Pain Split becomes a, an electric type move, and it heals up Zera Aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be funny though. Mm -hmm. Like I never saw it happen, but it, it would like that was the first time I've seen it. But he has to use Plasma Fist, and there's probably no reason to use that. Yeah, especially when you can get like well older. Mm -hmm. So, by that Rotom. Obviously, Simi doesn't have the greatest switch in, uh, except for Gligar, but Gligar doesn't want to take a knockoff. Um, but yeah, I still yeah, think I still think Hunter needs to apply more pressure than staying in with Scrafty right now. Yeah, what if he goes Claydol here? He could go Claydol, but. Mm, I mean, does a Dazzling Gleam even take him out? Like, I guess the Claydol we saw is very offensive, to be honest. Well, I mean, it has to take up the Scrafty. It's part time super effective. Yeah. I feel like it has to. Scrafty is bulky, though. Yeah, I know, but, like, still. Yeah. So, there's I a mean, crit. I assume. Okay. Maybe I, I could be wrong, but, like, I assume it does. Is this. So. I don't know how uh, offensive this Scrafty is, but um, he is doing a lot of damage. Forty three percent. Maybe this melodic isn't. It's actually, it's actually pretty surprising how much damage it does. Um, I guess this melodic isn't fully def uh, fully invested in defense. Maybe he's just fully specially defensive, and then he's just yeah. playing more. So yeah. So that kind of set us back with uh, the continuous high jump kicks, and he finally got a crit there. But um, at some point or another, he's going to miss, and then, you know, they're going to run out of uh, recovers and high jump kicks soon. Yeah, but that's I think that's just uh, what Anta wants to stall them out of, out of recovers. Mm -hmm. So he might have predicted the uh, Claydol swap in there or, or whatever it was. Um, another recover, another high jump kick. So this could go on for yeah. a little bit unless someone wants to make a, an actual play. I mean, I guess five more <laughs> is gonna mm -hmm. be what it is. I don't know. Uh, I think because um, I assume it, like Simi doesn't want like to throw out his melodic now. The thing is that uh, yes, a hunter could like predict the recover again. Oh, and there's a skull, and there's a burn. Oh my yeah. god. That is huge. That is pretty big. Well, you know, Sylveon has the heal bell, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is, I mean, for now, the pretty much has to switch out, right? Yeah, Cause... and that's that's probably what uh, Hunter was, uh, like, dreading doing, because now that rocks are up, it kind of hurts yeah. uh, to switch. That's right. So then you force the Sylveon to heal bell. It's pretty easy to yeah. recognize that as Simi, so you can make the play accordingly. I think so. Simi can finally make some offensive plays now, because Hunter has to... Number one, he has to get this burn off Scrafty. Number two, he has to get these rocks off the field. Uh, Simi's gonna yeah. Simi's gonna know this again. Hunter knows that Simi knows this, so he might want to keep the the offensive pressure on. Yeah, 
But the thing is, that's the thing. Because if you go Sylvia on here, and then you expect the hill value, you can just go pick and drop a Vicary, right? Yeah. And then something has to take a Vicary plus rocks. Mm. Well, not only that, um, did he? He didn't damage the Porygon two yet, so um, Porygon two is still going to be a nice wall. I think Hunted can always yeah. rely on Porygon two, if anything. But still, I mean, decree plus rocks is gonna hurt. It, yeah, you're right. Okay, he won the he won the Lego. That, I was thinking that just now that he might go in the Lego, but then that's why I was talking about the Porygon two being there, because Porygon two can still eat anything this Nihiligo wants to go for, unless it's a Z move, maybe. I mean, I ra- yeah, I would have I would have rather him gone the Victini, to the yeah, maybe the Victini would have been the the stronger play because nothing really switches in properly, especially with rocks up. I mean, I think so. The I don't know what his set is, but I, I, I believe Victini would have been a better play. But yeah, Victini for sure. Because that because the nearly go just baits in the Porygon and just recovers. It's right, not so. as offensive, but maybe Simi's still trying to scout out Hunter's plays because, um, like Hunt again, like what you see here is Hunter has to make a series of defensive plays. He still doesn't know anything about the Porygon, so he wants to scout it out, and maybe he wants to keep Victini a little bit. In the back before yeah, he brings it up. Yeah, with a sludge wave, you can see if it's defensive or uh, physically defensive or special yeah. defensive. So, um, so I uh, guess they're playing the long game right now, but very long game. Yeah, but, I mean, usually when it's like games like that, once the, uh, oh, wow. there's one kill, then it, like it opens up the. Uh, that's actually decent for Porygon because uh, I don't think it's uh, badly poisoned. Yeah, right? it's not badly game. poisoned. Um, so that's actually decent because then it doesn't. He can stay in. He can stay in and continuously recover and then damage this. He could have something like uh, Psy Shock. Yeah, that would be rough. Even if he didn't. But, I mean, even th- yeah, e- even Thunder Wave. Even Thunder Wave. I th- so you do you think this Nihil goes Scarf? It kind of looks like it. I mean, it's being played like it at least. Mm-hmm. I think it is. That's scary though. If it gets a killer too, that's that's pretty scary. That is scary. Uh, yeah. So maybe this does have recovery. no steel type. So this could have recover right here, and 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 uh, Hunter can finally uh, know if this Nihiligo is scarf or not, just from bringing in this Lottie. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it okay, is. So and there's no, a it's down the gleam. So it's not. It could it's just recover. It could be focus ash. Um, Yeah. New covers could go off again. Surprising switch here. Yeah, for real. Um this Victini might be Z move then. It's it's kinda of difficult to tell who the Z move but user is, but <clears throat> what Z move does um like what does Z what Z move kills the body? Unless he goes for final gambit again. Um we saw that earlier today, but <laughs> that could be that could be interesting, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, he could be Z Glaciate, but that's probably not going to do anything. I, I don't think it kills. It doesn't. It might not. Okay, so we do see a U-turn. That doesn't even... Okay. So that's Scarf, right? Unless uh, Lottie... Scarf Victini. Unless, um, unless Lottie has no defense in our that's speed. That's an interesting play, because then... I don't know why you want to, you would you would want to reveal the Scarf on Victini. Yeah, I was I was wondering about that, too. There could be first something that Haunted didn't bring, but that's that could be Scarf for sure. Yeah, yeah, but like I don't, I mean, I don't know why you wanted to reveal it. But I guess you could you get some chip on the Lottie. But... So, um, I was just questioning if maybe Lottie wasn't max speed, but I think, uh, I think he. Oh, uh, that, that's right. Maybe not. But maybe I think Hunt, I think Lottie is max speed because uh, Hunter just went for a Draco there instead of um. Instead of scouting out Victini, so yeah. Okay, so we, so finally Sylveon comes back in. We're gonna see a heal bell. Um, yeah, that's right. Because if uh, the Lottie would have been slower, well, if you knew the the Lottie was uh, would have been slower, you probably probably would just uh, just would have clicked reco- uh, recover recover. Because yeah, then you can take the hit and just recover exactly. back up. So the other thing is that Porygon is uh, is weakened now, so Simi might have some openings with that Nihiligo. Uh, Hunter knows that he needs to get his Porygon 2 healthy again. Yeah. <laughs> but he just brings in the uh, the Scrafty. I mean, 
I think Sammy definitely has the upper hand in this like long term battle just because of those rocks. Yeah, and he's he's pressuring him with status as well with with toxic and poison and burn. Um, yeah. So, uh, what's funny is Hunter was playing offensively earlier, and now he's just uh, on the defensive. So. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's always on the back foot. Yeah, Simi's pushing him in into that role, and now we're back to the uh, the high jump kick, recover. <laughs> yeah, but at least it's not burned now. And, uh, yeah, you're right, okay. you're right. Oh, he's just, just going to heal Bell, I guess. He could heal Bell here, and then he could wish, and then maybe um, maybe go into... Uh, okay, so uh, Simi's making the aggressive plays now, finally. He wants to, uh, he wants to make sure that Hunter has no switch-ins anymore. Um... Yeah, I think Silvio might actually live this sludge wave. I I could be wrong though. I think he has to be yeah. especially defensive to live it. Yeah. Because the thing is, that, Porygon. That Malada is about to fall though, because uh, only has three covers left. Well, so that's, Simi has to watch out for that. Nehel logo gets a kill right now, doesn't it? Yeah, I think P2 is too low to take uh, two sludge waves and It rocks. takes rocks, and then it can't take two sludge waves. Yeah. Uh, actually, Laddie can take 40% and then recover. Back oh, you're up, right. I uh, well... I mean, if... It could he... be close. Because he could go for Dazzling Gleam. Um, yeah, but I think... Uh, well, it did 40%, though, right? It, went it did, P2. yeah. Okay. okay, I think uh, he's giving up his Porygon now. Yeah. I think Laddie would have... But then, like... Yeah. You're forced to recover, and then... I don't know. Um, wow. Hunter's not in the best spot, because he doesn't have any damage on that Melodic. Actually, isn't everything on Simi's team at full health right now? He got, he, yeah. he got, a, he got a special attack boost. Um... I mean, Hunter's a really, he's in a really tough spot here. Yeah, he's definitely in a tough spot here. Because he doesn't even have to protect if he doesn't want to. Unless he's not max speed. I think I think you have to make the play if you're Hunter here. I think you have to make the play yeah. in the Swords Dance. Yeah. Okay, well, he made the play in oh. Aqua Tails instead, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. The problem is, with the Life Orb, it's going to go down. Yeah. So, let's see if he recovers here. This is this is kind of bad because uh, that's even worse. <laughs> um, uh, I'm pretty sure this was Hunter's win con. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be too pessimistic, but I think it's it's gonna be really tough to bring that. It's back it's here, definitely gonna be hard to even break uh, Simi's core now. With uh, yeah, like I don't, I don't know how he breaks the Gligar plus Melodic again. I don't think he can. Well, the Rotom hasn't shown to do anything, and had um had Hunter prioritized getting off, getting the rocks off, I think maybe he he would have been okay. But it... yeah, I mean maybe he doesn't have a rule. I would be surprised, but mm -hmm. yeah, he might not have the Defog, but. <clears throat> I think he has to bring in Rotom now. There's no reason to continuously... Unless he wants to get more leftovers on Scrafty, but... Yeah, and try to burn those uh, recovers. Those recovers. He only has three left, so he could be in a good spot after that. Yeah. Because Lottie has Ice Beam for Gligar. In Lottie outspeeds the, um, the Nihiligo. Victini is Scarf, but... Alright, only two left. I still wonder what the uh, Claydol wants to do. I really think it's Specs for some reason. Okay, so that's it. No more recovers. And yeah, we that's, get the burn. Uh... Wow. Again... All right. Okay. Down goes Melodic finally. And at least this broke that thing. Yeah. At least. 
We're gonna see a dazzling gleam for sure. Yeah. I mean, or an earth there's power, no reason not to. But I think... I mean, there's no reason not to d here. Yeah. Sylveon can come in if it wants to. Yeah. But then again, is their power going to be that much... Going to do that much more damage? It's really not. Yeah. So, you might as well d and then pick off anything else. And then uh, the, uh, the Rodan comes in. I mean, it takes rocks as think... well, so... Simi's forcing Hunter to go into Sylveon so that he gets a free switch in Nihilego. Yeah, and just click Sludge Wave yeah. again. Mm -hmm. If Simi was Scarf, this would have been pretty much GG, but um, I don't know, maybe he's Sash or something? I mean, Luddy can still win, I guess, but... It needs to... I'm trying... needs to... I'm trying to see if... Uh... Because the, the thing is that Simi has a Scar Pictini and he has the Zera Aura still. So, yeah. Um, it's going to be hard for Lottie, but maybe. Depends what this Victini has for the Lottie. Yeah. Okay, so Simi made a good Oof. play there. He just read the uh, Sylveon immediately. Yep. Ouch. And now Hunter can't even get a heal bell off, but he's probably going to protect the scout then, first. Well. Something has to drop here, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna let Scrafty go. Yep. And then Lottie has to come in. Yeah. He probably goes for a recovery here, and then. I mean, I mean, Sludge is gonna do over 50, unless you hope that uh, he thinks that you're gonna side shot. Oh, you're then... right, yeah. Um, it's probably going to be doing like 60%, so there's no reason to. Uh, we could see the Psy Shock, though. I mean, unless you're expecting Simi to switch out fearing Psy Shock, but... Um... I mean, if this thing is Sash, I mean, there's no reason to switch out. Yeah, it's okay. probably not Sash. So, it's probably something... It is Psy Shock. Um... Oh. I would have just stayed in and recovered on that U-turn, but... Yeah. I think he had to, but... Because what now? Nihilo comes back in. Like it's, uh, it, it's yeah, and just sludge waves again. Because it's it's hard for Hunter to really, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's tough. That's de yeah, that's tough for Hunter because he can't he can't get around the fact that uh, Semi's pivots just bring him back into Nihilo, and um, he can't switch in anymore. I think Kanta has to recover here if he's predicting a swap out, but does he really need the yeah. Nihilego anymore? Um, I guess I guess he does. Okay, so he goes for the recover. Still a very passive play. Um, and uh, we'd see the Ice Beam. That did a lot of damage. I really think this is Specs. <laughs> I, like I think you're right. I think you're actually right with your first call. I Okay. I mean, hey, Lottie yeah. does get a kill, so I think that's all Hunter really yeah. wanted. But um, what Victini or or Zero Or comes in now, and like a a Z I mean, a Z that... throat chop from Zero Or probably drops Lottie if he has that. Oh, for sure, for sure. But then, you know, does he bring the Sylveon on it? Yeah, okay, so he has to decide uh, what his play is here, because maybe, um... I mean, I think... Hunter did good there. He, I mean, he's doing good with his body, for sure. Yeah, I think Zero Aura is the play, to be honest. Yeah, probably. Unless he doesn't have any coverage, but I, I highly doubt that. If he can live a Draco, uh, he goes into Zero Aura, and then... Okay. Wow, interesting. Maybe Toxic. Go for toxic, yeah. If he misses here, though. Well, if he misses, then he would be okay. in the same position as, as before. But uh, it's better... Yeah, to... but then he went out the Gligar. Yeah, yeah, it's better to at least go into it. Uh, Victini can come in yeah. and then U-turn. Um, but Hunter can just yeah, go we... for a Psy Shock here if he wants to. I think he has to recover or go into Sylveon right here. Okay, so that probably wasn't the right play because does Victini kill now? Yeah, probably. I mean... I assume Victory knocks it up, knocks it up at this point. Because I think bringing in... No. It's it's really tough to say. But, you know, 
he did break down um, Simi's walls now, but Simi just has all his offense still. Let's see come back in. We're going to see a U-turn, right? You turn into hmm. into zero aura. Yeah, well, he has to use like, Well, unless he goes, the thing is, he can't go Sylvia on here because if he turns and go go back into Neil, yeah. it's all game over. He can't do anything. He has to kind of stay in and take the hit. He has and to stay in if, and recover. He has to I recover think. because if he attacks, then he'll drop and then he'll go. Will win anyways. Yeah, so he has to recover here. Yeah. There's no other choice. Unfortunately, but. The good thing is if he recovers and Simi uh, U-turns out into Zera Aura, um, he can get off another hit at least. But the th yeah, but then okay, so U-turn. We'll, if do and then he's, I think Zera Aura comes recover in. Recover fifteen. Nine. Yeah, for sure. And then yeah. do we see the recover? Yeah. Yeah, he has to, but then forty-one, and then it's racking up. So it could we could just see a knockoff, like a banded knockoff or something. Yeah. Because this isn't living a hit from Nihiligo anymore. It can't switch in. So you have to go Sylveon and hope to heal Bell here. The, oh, not bad. Um, really? But this could be banded, right? So Simi might have to swap out anyways. No, he's not banded. Okay. But I mean, yeah, you heal Bell, but then you still have to... Take he in, still so. has to, like, sack something here. Well, no. Lottie can't live... Um, uh, rocks plus sludge. Rocks wave. plus that's right. Yeah, he dies to the rocks plus sludge. Wave. So you have to select the Sylveon. Uh, yeah, but he made it easier because if Sylveon drops here, he can recover up. Um, well, the thing is that he gets a plus one. Yeah. And no, I think I think you side shock for the the differential. Yeah, for the differential then... at this point. Yeah. Because Victini wins now. Because or Zero Aura. Victini. Oh, that's right. Zero just makes out rage. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So that's going to be the and game, guys. Good game. Well, I mean, it was a good try there for Hunter to try to bring yeah, it back. Hunter, it just uh, shows how strong that Laddie could be. Yeah. So uh, Hunter really tried to make it make make himself come back into this match, but Simi definitely had the offense the entire match. Like Hunter maybe tried to in the beginning with Scrafty, but he just couldn't find the way. And then I think Scolipede being his win con dropping kind of really hurt him in the in the late game. And Porygon two really didn't do much for him at all. Like, it, it tried to at least wall some stuff, but it, it was more a liability at times with Nihilego just um, coming in every single time. Um, yeah. If he would have, uh, I mean, you must have a still tap, right? Who, uh, Simi? Or... Is thing like, uh, oh, Hunter? Nihilego could just spam Sludge Wave without even thinking about um, anything or anything. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what his still type was. Um, it's a fully on. Oh. Empoleon would have been nice, so that means maybe uh, Nihiligo had Thunderbolt too and stuff. So, but still, he would have been able yeah. to take that. With I Empoleon. mean, I guess he did. Yeah, I mean, uh, the thing is, Empoleon doesn't have uh, the greatest matchup between like Melodic and Registeel and yeah, Delmise and that's true, Zera and Victini. So yeah, yeah. So that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, a nice two zero for Simi um, and um, and GG to both coaches.